The phenomenon of animals behaving strangely or exhibiting unusual behavior prior to an earthquake has been observed and reported throughout history. While the exact reasons behind these behaviors are not fully understood, there are several theories and hypotheses that attempt to explain this intriguing phenomenon. One of the most common observations is that animals, including domestic pets, wildlife, and even insects, exhibit restlessness or agitated behavior before an earthquake. They may appear anxious, exhibit abnormal movements, or vocalize more frequently. Additionally, there have been accounts of animals walking or running in circles, or displaying erratic patterns of movement. In fact, this behavior was observed before the recent earthquakes in Turkey, and it's a phenomenon that researchers have said requires further study. One theory suggests that animals have a heightened sensitivity to changes in the environment, including subtle changes in electromagnetic fields, gas emissions, or vibrations that occur prior to an earthquake. It is believed that animals may possess acute sensory abilities that allow them to detect these precursors and respond accordingly. This heightened sensitivity could explain their restlessness and abnormal behavior before seismic activity. Another hypothesis suggests that animals may possess a more acute sense of hearing, allowing them to perceive the infrasound waves that precede an earthquake. Infrasound refers to sound waves with frequencies lower than what humans can typically detect. It is thought that animals may be able to detect these low-frequency sound waves, which can be generated by the movement of tectonic plates before an earthquake. This heightened sensitivity to infrasound could trigger their unusual behavior. Additionally, it has been proposed that animals may possess an inherent ability to detect changes in the Earth's magnetic field. It is well known that the Earth's magnetic field undergoes subtle variations prior to an earthquake. Some animals, such as migratory birds or certain marine species, rely on the Earth's magnetic field for navigation. It is possible that other animals, through evolutionary adaptations or innate instincts, have retained this ability to detect magnetic field changes. This sensitivity to magnetic fluctuations could explain their peculiar behavior before seismic events. Furthermore, it is important to consider the role of animal communication and social behavior in these observations. Animals within a particular ecosystem often have intricate social structures and communication networks. It is possible that prior to an earthquake, changes in the environment or the release of specific chemical signals may prompt animals to engage in specific behaviors as a means of warning or coordinating with their peers. This coordinated behavior, such as walking in circles or gathering in specific locations, may serve as a protective mechanism or an attempt to mitigate the potential risks associated with seismic activity. Animals' ability to detect earthquakes before they happen is a fascinating and well-documented phenomenon. Throughout history, there have been numerous reports of animals exhibiting unusual behavior prior to seismic activity. While the exact mechanisms behind this ability are not fully understood, several theories offer possible explanations. One theory suggests that animals are more attuned to changes in the environment including subtle shifts in electromagnetic fields or the release of certain gases that occur before an earthquake. It is believed that animals possess highly developed sensory systems that allow them to perceive these precursors and react accordingly. For example, some studies have shown that certain species, such as dogs or horses, may detect changes in electromagnetic fields by sensing variations in static electricity. This heightened sensitivity could enable animals to anticipate earthquakes and exhibit behavior changes as a result. Another hypothesis focuses on animals' acute sense of hearing. It is thought that they can detect low-frequency sound waves, known as infrasound, that are generated by the movement of tectonic plates prior to an earthquake. Infrasound waves have been shown to travel long distances and can be detected by animals even when humans are unable to perceive them. It is possible that animals with a keen sense of hearing can pick up on these low-frequency vibrations, alerting them to the impending seismic activity. Additionally, there is evidence to suggest that animals possess a unique ability to detect changes in the Earth's magnetic field. Before an earthquake, the Earth's magnetic field may experience fluctuations. Some animals, such as birds or sea turtles, rely on the Earth's magnetic field for navigation during migration or foraging. It is believed that these animals have evolved the ability to sense these magnetic variations, allowing them to anticipate environmental changes, including earthquakes. 
This sensitivity to magnetic fields could explain why certain species exhibit unusual behavior prior to seismic events. Social behavior and communication among animals may also play a role in their ability to detect earthquakes. Many animals live in complex social structures and rely on communication networks within their communities. The Mysterious Holes of Peru In Peru, there is a strip of holes, an estimated 5,000 to 6,000 of them, described as man-sized, forming the Band of Holes, or Monte Sierpe, Serpent Mountain in Spanish. Whilst there has been a great deal of speculation into the purpose and creation of these holes, not much is definitively known. Some have suggested they were storage pits built within the Inca Empire, whilst others have theorized they were graves or places to take defense in battle. The band covers a north to south direction, traveling for 1.5 kilometers. These holes range from 50 to 100 centimeters deep and are each around one meter in diameter, a sizing often described as man-sized. Modern researchers have formed many speculations. In 1933, Robert Shippey of National Geographic published a photograph of the area from above. This caught the eye of many, drawing the holes of Peru somewhat into the spotlight. In 1953, Victor Wolfgang von Hagen took over the narration in his writing entitled The Royal Road of the Inca. He called the holes pre-Inca graves, describing the shaking linework to be the curves of a serpent, hence the secondary name Monte Sierpe. On the other hand, the 1984 book The Inca Road System, written by archaeologist John Hislop, describes them as storage possibilities, whilst acknowledging that this is merely speculation. Still, the storage hypothesis, if accurate, would make the Band of Holes one of the Inca Empire's largest storage areas. A more modern suggestion, made in 2015, suggests that the holes could be a form of measurement to record gifts, produce and inventory particularly those presented as a tribute. These holes could have formed one part of a process that informed official documents. As this idea was formed, archaeologists from UCLA were able to visit the site and capture photographs of the area through the use of a drone. We may never completely determine what these mysterious holes are for, though the more modern explanations are seemingly shifting away from the macabre suggestion of graves. one of the oldest burial sites in the Amazon. Researchers believe they have stumbled across what may be the oldest burial site yet discovered in the southwest Amazonia, tucked away within northern Bolivia in the Llanos de Moxos region of the Amazon rainforest. This site contains graves that are estimated to be a minimum of 6,000 years old and presumed to be older. Buried here are five humans, as well as the shells of snails, and the bones of fish and various mammals. This discovery is more important, as they believe this site was created 6,000 years ago, which entirely changes the timeline of when we believed people had begun to build settlements within the Amazon. The site was found on the forest islands, situated in Ia del Tosoro, La Chacra and San Pablo. An excavation and further study led many researchers to believe that these so-called forest islands provided a safe asylum and a point of refuge to ancient Amazonians fleeing the flooded Llanos de Moxos savanna throughout the rainy season, making these islands seasonal settlements. This discovery has also given insights into the sophistication of these societies, as burials of this sort, along with the traces of food remains and of fires having burned, have implications of a settled society protecting their territories. Before this discovery, we had been operating under the assumption that the people living in this region were hunter-gatherers, though this updated perspective suggests a series of more complex societies instead. This means our timeline could have been 10,000 years out, meaning these groups and societies were established and complex far earlier than we originally thought. Lead author of the study, Jose M. Caprié, Assistant Professor at Penn State University explained that these burials tells us that the indigenous groups within the Amazon had learned to adapt and transform the landscape in beneficial and suitable ways. 
These signify far more advanced living standards than we had predicted were possible at this time. Furthermore, the discarding of waste, be it food or what was once living, and then returning to stay in the area as a seasonal settlement, meant that the soil composition had been changed slightly, becoming more fertile. This allowed for thicker growth of vegetation and higher land elevation. Jose M. Caprier elaborates, explaining that when their preferred food sources and supplies ran low, the indigenous populations were able to domesticate plants, including peanuts and sweet potatoes. This excelling knowledge meant that only mere generations later, societies capable of establishing roads were prevalent. Caprier concludes his research, explaining that the study of these landscapes helps us to see the interaction between humans and these biomes, and gives us an insight into the cultural and biological diversity that is rife within them. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.